What's up guitar friends? Welcome back to a new episode. This week we're going to break down five tips for the gigging musician. So you're out there, you're doing your thing, playing shows, and you're doing your gigs, that's awesome. So I think, in my opinion, these are five tips that'll definitely make your gigging life a whole bunch easier. So let's get started with number one. Sorry, I've always wanted to say I have the power. I grew up watching He-Man. But seriously, our first tip is, you know, prepare for power. Anytime you get to a show, first thing you're gonna be looking for to plug in your amp or pedal board, is power and a lot of bars or small clubs we play might have limited outlets or where they're located is terrible you're on one side of the stage and the outlets all the way on the other side and that's the only one they have so be prepared for those scenarios it could be a total headache and pain so i totally suggest a a long power cord you can grab one of these like 20 footer guys at home depot or lowe's uh throw this in your bag and that'll alleviate that problem this way you know no matter where the outlet is, you have power. Second is a good power strip. Not only will this protect some of your gear, but now you can plug in multiple things in one spot and a nice long cord too will just add to that overall length. These things are super important. I bring them to every show and it's helped me out a ton. Trust me, playing small shows and stuff, you never know what the situation is gonna be. Things like outdoor festivals, they might just have one outlet behind the stage and you're gonna have to run your own power. Just in general, be prepared for that. These are good. So our second tip is about our cables, right? So if you're like me, you run a big pedal board, you have a lot of cables, and it can be a pain to set all that stuff up and running one at a time just is time consuming and can be confusing. So what I like to do is to snake my cables. So I just use zip ties. I put them all together in spots and random like that, and now I have three cables that go from my pedal board to my amp all in one nice rope. There are definitely other ways to make a snake. This was the easiest one that I had. And then I put tape and label them. See, this is return. There's my send. And this goes to the front of my amp. They're all right there, nice and neat. And it makes it quick for setup and breakdown. I have one cable dedicated for my guitar. So that is definitely a good tip. If you don't run a big, uh, like pedal board or a lot of cables from your pedals to your amp or vice versa. Uh, this might not be the best tip for you, but I still recommend getting your cables in order just for quick, you know, break up, break up. You don't want to break up with your cables. That would be sad. For breakdown and set up at a show, just like that. Now they're all wrapped up, throw them in your bag, you're good to go. A PS to the cable thing is that if you run a snake, it also makes the stage nice and neat because stages can get crazy with cables and you'll be tripping all over yourself and that doesn't look cool. Seriously, it doesn't. So, snake it. Number three, get yourself something with wheels. <laughs> uh, this sounds like common sense, I guess, but uh, not everyone thinks about this, so hand truck is awesome and i'm not even talking about some massive thing you have to throw in the back of a truck even like a little collapsible hand truck would be perfect especially if you live in a city like mine with public transportation and you are a gigging musician you have to go everywhere by yourself if you don't have a car a little hand truck would be great you can pop it down throw your pedal board on there your, your little amp or whatever you have going on if your rig is small it's perfect um, if you have something bigger and you guys are driving the shows, a little hand truck could save you so much stress on the muscles and getting in and out, uh, especially if you're playing small shows and you need to get past the crowd. You throw everything on the hand truck, you make, what, two trips and you're good to go. So I've been in lots of situations where you're just carrying amps all through packed bars and it's absolutely horrible. A little hand truck will save you a bunch of time, a bunch of stress, and I guess muscles if you're not that strong, but yeah. Hand truck, always good. Number four, guitar maintenance, or instrument maintenance for that, for all you guys who are playing bass, drums, or whatever else, but for the purposes of this channel, we're talking about guitar. Let's just say you have a gig on a Saturday night, midweek you're gonna wanna take a look at your guitar. Most likely you're gonna wanna change those strings, I highly suggest it. One, you'll have better tone, 
two, you'll have better tuning stability, and three, you won't have to worry about your string breaking as much as if your strings were old. You should bring a back, back up guitar, but if you don't have one, definitely change your strings. This way, the chances of a string breakage are a lot lower. If you don't change your strings, I suggest something like this, a string lubricant to put on, wipe off, makes the strings a little bit nicer, or uh, like fast fret will take some dirt and grime off of your strings give them a little bit of life for the show those are pretty cool other things to look out for is just making sure everything's nice and tight on the guitar you don't want any straps you know with loose screws falling off in the middle of a show you should have strap locks if you're gigging that's another good tip but just check all that stuff make sure your pots are working and are cracking make sure your tuning pegs are nice and good so just Overall maintenance of the guitar is definitely good, so you don't have to worry about that when you get to the show or have a guitar where you're like, man, if I turn left, the input jack is going to fall out and then I can't play guitar anymore. Try to get that stuff fixed before you go play, so this way you can concentrate on your playing and not if your guitar is going to disintegrate in front of you. Number five. So last but not least, and this is kind of a broad saying, but be a professional. So what does being a professional mean? It just means being on point, really, being prepared, uh, and just overall being proactive at a show. Some of these things include just even showing up on time. <laughs> I know it can be hard, but expect, you know maybe the show is running late or whatever it is, but please show up on time. Um, it's just better for everyone in general. There might be a band that wants to swap slots with you or they need gear. Uh, it's cool to be around to help them. You might need that help later down the road, so you know, it could be good karma. A couple other reasons to just be professional. Uh, you know, you want to set up quick, break down quick, make that time for the other bands, uh, you know, easier. The adjustment between bands can get hectic if you have people that are just standing around doing nothing. So that's another one. Um, being prepared for that, like your set, your set time, check in with the sound guys and the people who book just so you're, you're on point, you know when you're going on, you can get ready. Uh, you know, what your set length is, if you have a half hour, play a half hour. You know, if your set time is as long as you want, that's cool. Play for as long as you want. But if you have a half hour, try to stick to the set time because all the other bands are trying to stick to that time as well. So it just helps the flow of the show and you also won't piss off anybody. If you do like the venue and you play for 40 minutes when you're only supposed to play for 30, you might not get invited back. So those are all good tips and just professionalism in general. Just, I don't know, be nice. Be nice at the show. Talk to people, talk to the sound guy, tell him he was cool. You know, talk to the bartenders, make sure everybody tips them. There's all just little things that could help you at a show to just be cool, be excellent to each other. So those are my tips for the gigging musician. I hope you enjoyed that and you take something away from this that's awesome. It very much applies to the bar and small club aspect of, you know, musician. But, uh, you know, because if you're playing like the bigger stuff, none of this probably applies to you except still just trying to be cool. So there's that. If you liked this episode, please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and I'll be here next week. Take care. Rock on.